Hi friends, what are you biased about? I believe that having an accurate model of the world is really crucial to being able to navigate successfully through the world and through our lives. So understanding our own biases is a really important part of that. And the fact of the matter is that most of the time we are wrong. <laughs> we are wrong about most of the things, both the assessments that we make about the world are more likely to be wrong than right. Um, and I mean that in a, in a you know, quite extreme way. I think you know, they're, they're just not exactly right. Maybe they're not exactly wrong either, but if they're not exactly right, let's call that wrong. Um, and let's just call that wrong just for the moment to highlight a little bit the idea, the fact that we have biases and now the what we, we don't want to do is get caught up in that and say well we don't understand the world therefore we might as well give up throw our hands up and um, let go because we do understand the world to some extent but it's really important that we also know that there are limits to that understanding and that we can improve that understanding um, but that whatever we see, whatever we currently see as the being truly real may not be as real as it seems to us. In fact, it's never as real as it seems to us. Um, so there is, um, it's, it can be really, really difficult, really difficult to know what our biases are. Um, I had an experience uh, years ago where um, through through many years at ISAC, I felt like I had developed myself personally quite a lot. And people said to me that I have a lot of uh, self-awareness. And I started to build this belief into my mind that I had a lot of self-awareness. And um, this got to the point where I almost felt like uh, I knew who I was exactly. And that was, that was a f very foolish thing to do because I stopped being aware of the biases. Um, and so when uh, I found out something that I didn't know before, a blind spot kind of made itself known to me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, and and uh, when it happened, people said to me, um, you know, you, you, you don't, you, you're not very self-aware. And I thought, well, wait a second, but I am self-aware. <laughs> um, but of course, around that particular topic, I wasn't. And, and it was really a huge revelation. And um, yeah, and it, and it led to it led to a major breakthrough in terms of my own personal growth. So um, it was a really positive experience, even though it was painful to come face to face with um, something negative about myself, and and maybe even more so, just the fact that it was so surprising. Um, and I think that's the thing we 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 create this model of the world in our minds, and when um, something really flies in the face of that model that can be painful because we have to rearrange the model uh, quickly um, and, and sometimes it's not clear what the new model should be so um, yeah there's um, if you're interested more in this topic um, I think there is um, a, a blogger called Venkatesh Rao he has a blog called Ribbon Farm and he published a book called Tempo um, who talks uh, a lot in all the detail about different models for understanding the world and that has guided my thinking a lot um yeah if you're interested in that that's probably what what you can can look more into um i'm curious if have you ever had an experience where a personal bias of yours was um kind of made obvious to you what was that like uh, let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.